Let's get some instant reaction from Solus Capital's Dan Greenhouse and Franklin Templeton's Sonal Desai. It's great to see you both. Well, he said he's Buller did, Sonal. He said he's sympathetic to markets. He sure has a funny way of showing that because he also said he wouldn't rule out 75 basis points, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not his base case. Sonal? I don't think when he said markets have priced in, I think he, what he said was markets have largely priced in. They've priced in 50 basis points for each of the next three meetings. But Bullard has also gone on record saying he could he would be comfortable with the Fed funds rate at 325, 350 by the end of this year. So and both actually are higher than uh, any of the dot plots, certainly the median dot plots we had last time. So I think that uh, the market actually hasn't fully priced in yet what the Fed will do this oh, year. Interesting. Greenhouse, what do, you, what do you think? And also, I mean, this idea, look, he can say whatever he wants. He usually does, right? And it tends to be more hyperbolic, if you will, than what, you know, the conventional thought is on the Fed. 75 basis points, that's not going to happen, right? No. Uh, yeah, I mean, not right now. But and to be clear about Bullard, for, for years, he's often been at the leading edge of, of Fed thought. So while he may not be at the center right now, perhaps he's indicative of, of some, some thinking that's going on behind the scenes. And, and no, I don't think 75 basis points is the likely outcome. But clearly, as you've been talking about all day, with what's going on with commodity prices and, and the war in, 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 uh, in, in Ukraine, perhaps putting some upward pressure over the next, call it, six months, uh, on, on commodities and a number of um, components of inflation, perhaps they might feel like they have to go 75 basis points at, at one of the next couple of meetings. They've got 50, basically, to Sonal's point, already priced in. Uh, not that 75 isn't a big departure from that, but it's not so big from when the market already is. But it's more speaking your, your, from your point of view, Sonal, right? I mean, you don't think the Fed has been hawkish enough I don't, actually, because, you know, everyone talks about the Fed's hawkish pivot, but I would note that the Fed finally acknowledged that inflation was intransitory in December and then spent the next three months expanding its balance sheet. So it wasn't really uh, putting its money where its mouth was at that time. So it, it, in a sense, January, February, March just made the Fed's job that much harder because they were expanding their balance sheet over this entire period. I think that the part which uh, I find interesting is if I looked at the previous dot plots, essentially inflation comes down and you don't get real rates to positive territory until we're really looking at a 20 basis point positive uh, a positive real rate towards the end of next year. So essentially, inflation needs to come down by itself in that scenario. I don't think that's very likely. So I think the Fed, if anything, is going to revise its stock plots and we're going to get more rate hikes than are currently priced in by the market. Oh, that's interesting. Dan, last word goes to you because as Adam Parker and Tom Lee both said, they're, they're expecting a, a dovish pivot from the Fed. The exact yeah, opposite they're... of what Sonal says could be that could be the case. Yeah, they're, listen, I mean, we are somewhere around now presumably going to get the peak in inflation rates. And if it starts coming down uh, over the course of the year, then, then they might have some room to sort of take their foot off the gas pedal. But I, I would just remind people that, that what's priced in now doesn't mean that that's what's actually going to happen. And if you look back in the last cycle in, in the mid-2000s, at this point at the beginning, the market had priced in about 150, maybe 175 basis points of hikes. They ended up doing 425. So uh, the, the idea that, that, that what they're going to do over the next couple of months is the sum total of what's going to actually happen uh, is, is something I disagree with, even if they don't have to go as aggressively, as quickly as the market is currently um, suggesting.